Welcome to this episode of The Fig Files. I am your host and fig pig, Stephen Biggs. This is all about how to grow figs and harvest figs in a cold climate. Steve here, and today we will be talking about how early to wake your figs up in the spring. And in a past video, we talked about what to do if they wake up too early and what causes that. But now we're moving into spring. So we're thinking about, is it time to wake our fig plants up a little bit early? And maybe we should back up a little bit. Why would we think about waking up our fig plants early? The reason that you might think about getting your fig going early is that in a cold climate, the limiting factor to how many figs you will be able to ripen before that first fall frost, it's the length of the season. And so if you extend the season by getting your fig going earlier, chances are you'll get more figs. So the million dollar question, should I wake it up yet? This is the question I hear so much every spring, even in late winter, people are wondering, well, when should I wake up my fig? So there is no right answer to this question. It really depends on what the weather is going to be and also your particular setup. Some people have a great setup for getting figs going early. They might have some kind of temporary greenhouse or a sunroom where there's lots of light and temperatures don't freeze, a condition that would get that fig plant going earlier. But not everybody has it. So there is no right answer to this question. So don't feel that you have to. But remember, if it's possible, if there's a way for you to wake up that fig plant earlier and you can get a longer growing season, chances are you will ripen more figs. So how do we wake up our figs on purpose if they're not yet awake? So if you have an in-ground fig tree, a fig tree that you're growing in the ground, and whether you're leaving that upright for the winter and wrapping it, or whether like me, maybe you, you tip that tree flat to the ground and insulate it, what you want to do is to get the soil warmed up around that fig tree. And so usually that's a case of removing the mulch that you've put around there. So you can start removing the mulch. I would leave it close by in case we get unseasonably cold weather that makes you want to mulch up that area again. What I do with the fig tree that I tip over and cover with straw is that when the temperatures don't go far below freezing anymore, I start to move away some of that straw. So there's still protection nearby. I can still cover it up quickly if I have to, but the soil around the base of that tree can start to warm up. And a warmer soil combined with those longer days that we're getting, those two things working together help to wake up your fig tree. So you can remove some of that mulch that's on the soil, you can peel back some of the wrapping that you have on the tree. So a lot of people will wrap upright fig trees if you're in an area that's warm enough that you can do that for the winter. But leave all this stuff close by because sometimes in spring the weather looks promising, we're getting warm weather, and then we get a cold snap. So if it gets very cold, you want to have those things close at hand. Now, what to do if you have a potted fig tree that you want to wake up? I have my potted fig trees in my garage. I keep it just around freezing all winter long. And because that structure is insulated, it stays nice and cool even as the days warm up outside. But because it stays cool, those potted fig trees don't wake up too quickly. So if I want to wake those up more quickly, when we get nice warm weather in the spring, I can just move them outdoors. Then if we get very cold weather, they go back into the garage. So we've talked about why you might want to wake up your fig trees early. We've talked about how to do it. Really, heat is the key thing. You want to give that plant more heat. It will naturally get longer days as soon as it's outside. So heat is really critical. And I think we should also talk about, well, what do you do if there is a frost? Because here's what you need to remember. When that tree is fully dormant, it's fine with frost, there's no problem. But as those buds begin to swell and as that tree starts to come out of dormancy, no longer is it resistant to frost. If you get a frost, you could damage the, the little buds that are on there for little figs or for leaves. So you have to be really careful. And so of course, if it's a potted plant, you can just move it back to wherever you stored it for the winter. If it's an in-ground plant, that you've started to uncover, you might want to cover up some of that plant again. 
And if it is just borderline, if it looks like it's going to be cool, but it's not going to freeze, I've seen people do things like drape a sheet over a fig tree, or maybe within your yard, you have somewhere protected when there is a frost that doesn't get frost. So that might be another option. It'll really depend how cold it is supposed to drop. I guess to, to sum it up though, if you're in doubt, just remember that as that tree is coming out of dormancy, no longer is it completely tolerant to frost. And if you're in doubt, just treat it like you would treat your little tomato seedlings just to be safe. Because hey, if you're going to all this trouble to get a fig tree through the winter in a cold climate, it's a real pity to spoil it in the spring by letting it get just a bit too cold. One other thing to think about as we're talking about waking up fig trees in the spring, well, what if your fig tree already woke up? What if it woke up too early and you've had it in a window growing indoors somewhere? So as you begin to move that tree outdoors, what you need to keep in mind is that the quality of the light that we get indoors never compares to the quality of the light out of doors. So you will have leaves that can easily be scalded by the bright sunlight outdoors. Scalded by the bright sunlight, but also if we get a very cold wind in the spring. And so what I recommend, if you have a fig tree that has leafed out indoors and you're starting to move it outdoors in the spring, you want to put it somewhere shaded and somewhere sheltered for at least a week. Two is better. And I'm lucky in my case, I have an overhang off of my garage that is well shaded. And so if I ever have things that I want to protect from the bright spring sunlight, I can put them under there and keep them shaded. So look around your yard, see if you have that kind of protected space for any trees that have come out of dormancy too early. So just to sum up here, if you are thinking about waking up your fig trees early, yes, there is a big advantage to that. A longer growing season means more ripe figs. Key things for them to wake up, longer days, but equally importantly, heat, getting that soil warmer so that the plant begins to grow. We have an article all about figs in the springtime at foodgardenlife.com, and we will be doing more videos coming up. We'll talk about how to water your fig tree, how to feed your fig tree, how to care for your fig tree through the summer. For more tips and ideas about how to grow and harvest figs in cold climates, head over to foodgardenlife.com. There's a whole library of articles and interviews with experts and a free ebook all about growing figs in cold climates. Foodgardenlife.com.